Hello and welcome to episode 20 of our Timberborn Update 5 hard mode playthrough with the Poke Tales faction here in cycle 29, day 17. In the, uh, I guess you could say, still the first half of a drought here, we have 18 days left of the drought. And uh, we've got ourselves in a pretty good situation as far as uh, food and water is concerned. Uh, continuing to pump out of our reservoir here. Uh, but there is still a little bit we can send down, should we so choose. And we also have these... Uh, three pumps up here if we need to take advantage of those. But one of the big things we did last time was getting this aquatic farm set up with our cattails. And we're going to continue to expand it today and fix all sorts of other problems. And so many of you caught that I forgot about this guy, this floodgate right here. And uh, the current water level isn't really high enough for us to make good use of it. But I did want to let you know that now I know this is here. And we're going to see if we can get any water in. I'm not sure it's actually going to make a difference, and it looks like it's not going to, which is unfortunate. But uh, we, will, <laughs> we will have to remember to use this in the future. And we're going to have to slowly let this take shape, get some more water pumped in here, so on and so forth. Uh, a couple of you have suggested putting in the large mechanical pumps, which we have right here. We pretty much have never used in any playthrough except, I believe... Oh man, this would have been a long time ago. Maybe it was update four when that was still an experimental. And I think I might have used it for a uh, some sort of decorative purpose. But um, if I were to do that here, the water has to come from somewhere, right? That's always, always the problem we run into is the water has to come from somewhere. And the way this is set up, I don't have anywhere good to pump it out from because if I pumped out from here, uh, these wheat things would dry out and that would just create more problems than it would solve. And if I put it down here, well, there's no water here to pump from. So it, it really wouldn't be a good solution for this specific area. Uh, in general, it's probably a good idea to have that be something we use, but uh, this was not planned or set up with that in mind. So it's not going to be that great of a solution, unfortunately. But I do, I do see those comments. I do hear you. I understand that's a good thing to do. We just don't have this set up in a way where that's going to make sense. So unfortunately not something we're going to be able to do this time around. But outside of that, uh, one of our other major concerns is storage of goods and materials. We've got a lot of these. Uh, well, actually, these are ingredients. These are materials. Uh, but we've got a lot of these that have almost no storage whatsoever. Uh, chestnuts, specifically, there is no storage for them. These 13 chestnuts are hanging out in a uh, this guy right here. The gatherer flag, and uh, we are grilling them in the grill somewhere, maybe. Wherever that is. Is it up here? Yes. So uh, they would probably appreciate having access to some storage. And the way these things are set up up here, we have some raw potatoes and grilled potatoes. Uh, plenty of storage on the potato front. I'm not concerned about potatoes. But we've got to do something about storage for other stuff. And the way I have this set up over here is not really uh, not really ideal for that. We could easily put storage for chestnuts uh, somewhere else, probably right about here, even if it's just a little tiny warehouse, would make sense. But uh, I don't know that we're really generating enough chestnuts for this to be that big of an issue. There are some over here that haven't been picked yet, uh, but the rest of these are completely, well non-chestnutted. They're, they're waiting another eight days for their chestnuts to come in. But uh, yeah, we aren't really making enough of those. I feel like I should be planting more and we have uh, all sorts of opportunities to do that if we so choose. We just haven't really made it that much of a priority. But in terms of other foodstuffs, uh, berries, uh, well, they're not important for the folktales anyway, so I haven't really been that concerned about it. I don't think we need to worry about it. Bread, we're good. Carrots, we're good. Uh, the grilled chestnuts, we do have a storage for those, and we do have 200 of them. Uh, or 240, whatever. Close enough. But, uh, it, again, the population isn't huge. We still only have 183 beavers, so I don't think it's that big of an issue. Uh, grilled potatoes, perfect, perfectly solved forever and ever, amen. Um, but uh, the grilled spatter dock actually just disappeared here because we ran out of it. And we only have six. We need to be growing more spatter dock. And that is something we're going to do over here. Uh, we just have to have this wet enough to have uh, more stuff grow. And that's going to be something we get to 
uh, as we go into triple speed here, try to go forward through all that. And then, of course, we have our sunflower seeds. Uh, again, not something that's super crucial, important, but uh, we'll just continue uh, having this be what it is. And we can put in uh, some more of these, actually, since we're already here. And we know this is never going to have bad water coming through because of how we have this set up. So that's going to be A-OK. -okay. The dirt pile here I don't think needs to be here. We can get rid of that. And then we can uh, go ahead and... As I fail to click on sunflowers, I'm going to go ahead and plant just a few more of those. And I'm not going to plant anything here just in case we want to connect this. Uh, but I, I don't think we really need to, honestly. I mean, if we wanted to, we could make it maybe, I don't know, one or two tiles quicker to go over to this potato storage. But probably not something we need to be that stressed out about. Uh, the water situation here is continuing to improve, which is nice. Uh, but I think we can start planting some of our water crops here. Let's take a look at our coverage. Uh, this this guy, this aquatic farmhouse, cannot reach these last couple rows. This aquatic farmhouse cannot reach these couple rows. So I figure the spaces in which it overlaps is going to make sense to have Spatterdock in. And then we'll have cattails on the very extremes. Because the cattails are going to be a little bit more important to harvest quickly. Because we do have this entire Spatterdock farm over here. Uh, but we do still want to be growing some, and if we want to in the future, we can go ahead and have the uh, uh, additional stuff put in over here. So I will go ahead, I'm not going to bother counting uh, how this is arranged, because I just kind of don't want to mess with it. But I was thinking, that's the wrong building, uh, this overlaps one right here, this overlaps two right here, but it's about the same amount of cattails, and then... Uh, in the middle here, we should be able to just fill this with Spatterdock and be completely fine uh, based on the amount of cattail crackers we currently do not have. It would be a good idea for us to at least double the amount of cattails we're putting out, and we're also out of the uh, Spatterdock anyway, so we'll go ahead and I think for the time being, we can always replant later. i uh, just make a whole bunch more Spatterdock right like so. So that should be okay. This also takes 12 days to grow versus cattails take 8 so you get half again uh, as much out of a cattail square as you do for a spatterdock square, I believe. I don't. My math is wrong. All I know is the cattail you're going to get more out of the same same bit of land planting than you will with the spatterdock in the same amount of time. The exact number is probably wrong. We've already established I'm bad at math, so we can just kind of leave that uh, as we will. So this will take some time to completely get done. Uh, this fluid dump, courtesy of our friend 18K, will eventually uh, get this entire thing submerged. It's going to take a long time. But I didn't want to put more than one of these in because that would be a waste of labor. And we are still in a deficit as far as labor is concerned. And some people brought up that... Uh, wait, why are these buildings flooded? Oh, okay, those that's those two. That's fine. Uh, we have injured beavers and we're out of... Let me click on these medical beds. And that's something we can kind of relatively easily fix just by putting in a couple more of these uh, we'll just put those right there get two more right there and I think that probably will quote unquote solve most of our problems ideally you're not going to have this many injured beavers because you're not going to have them working in as many uh, dangerous jobs but the uh, water level here is going down considerably uh, let's go ahead and let this out I should have uh, put those up long before doing any of this. In fact, we'll just leave these up until we have a reason to put them down. But we'll let this water come in. Uh, somebody also left a comment saying, hey, why don't you put in a uh, floodgate or some land right here so this stops flowing back uh, that way. We could. We don't really have to because it, it will eventually come back. But that is something if we get bored in the future, we could possibly take a look at doing and uh, see if that's something that makes sense. But for right now, this is all looking pretty decent. Pretty decent. We've got some stuff to take care of. Uh, this, oh, 116 dirt. Wow. Um, that will eventually get pushed up to where it can be grabbed when stuff gets planted. So I'm not really that worried about that. Now we have this giant area we blasted clean last episode. One of the very last things we did. And we've got to decide what we're putting here. I wanted to put in a giant beaver housing complex. Uh, we could also 
put in some more trees, but as you can see, we're not exactly hurting for wood, and we have a lot that has not been uh, gathered yet. So I had the idea of, first of all, uh, unplanting this entire uh, middle here because we clearly do not need this much wood. Uh, unplant all this, get this harvested, build a bunch of wood storage, and then we'll have this entire area to kind of create a second uh, beaver living complex even. And we have our power shafts right here. We could also do some recreational things. And if we felt so inclined, we could even put in some uh, chestnuts in part of this to be harvested for creating grilled chestnuts. I think that would make the most sense somewhere right here because we do have our gatherer flag. So this area right here-ish could become a good option. Uh, this terrain is not irrigated. So any planting we would want to do would not be here. Uh, this would be a great place to have some recreational things. Or we could do another irrigation area. It's not like we're really hurting for water either. But uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, we need some storage for logs. Let's go ahead and build another underground pile or two or four or 10,000, whatever, uh, whatever we so choose. Um, actually, we have the technology. That's the wrong thing. There we go. We can put in a terrain block right here just so we can dig a hole again with our underground pile. But if we, uh, if we have these guys take care of that right quick, that'll be a nice way to... Uh, Store a little bit more and uh, get that rocking and rolling here. We have a large tank of water. That's looking fine. Uh, storage for gears. I don't remember why these are here. Probably one of those things where I had a storage and I just wanted to put the gears somewhere. Uh, but this does not need to be here. There is no benefit to having gears stored in this back part outside of when we were building our large tank, of course. So uh, in the interest of consolidation, I'm going to get rid of these. And we can maybe at some point think of something else to put here. Plant more trees. Honestly, it's probably the uh, the better thing to do. So we'll just put a couple oaks in there. And we will be done with that. These, of course, are all marked for cutting. And we have uh, plenty to cut. We just need to have somewhere to put the logs. So right here, we'll just make this a very quick and easy log storage. Get that constructed immediately and we'll get them all going there. Now this is an oak seedling that died because it did not have enough water, I'm assuming. So let's actually check on how much water is in these, and these are all full. Okay. So I'm assuming that's no longer going to be a problem. Uh, let's go and check these uh, replant dead trees. That was an option that was added after we started playing this playthrough, so should be able to take some nice advantage of that and be perfectly uh, okay with how all that is going. So that's going to go storage for another 1,800 logs. We really do need a lot more than that. So I believe... See, I was debating on whether or not to build out here. It probably just makes sense to go ahead and put one more right here. Get that taken care of as well. I don't even know if they're building anything else. I just kind of instinctually have to put this up at the top priority or else I'm worried it's not going to get done. And all of this water has come back in down here now, and that's looking fine. Remember to put that back up before we forget. And in the interest of conserving water for the next 13 days, I'm going to shut these off. And that's also going to help us with our uh, worker deficit. We have plenty of water stored up, and if we really need to, we can come up here and pump out of the top, which probably is something we should be doing anyway. But if we ever get to a surplus, then I'll turn these back on. Uh, 13 days, 8,000 water should be more than enough. Should be perfectly fine. I am slightly worried that this may not be able to reach all the way into the corner just from the one fluid dump and uh, how fast evaporation is. So I guess we'll see if this doesn't if this does not uh, get any further out here, then that's going to be an interesting problem for us to solve. I know I could just put in another fluid dump and be done with it, but I was going to try to avoid having this be something that had to be tended by a billion beavers constantly. But probably not going to be that big of a problem, especially once the wet season comes back and we can just flood this and be done with it. 
So let's leave that alone. We are still theoretically going to be coming in here and uh, cutting down trees, but we don't have to wait to start building stuff. There's plenty else we can do here. Plenty of stuff. In fact, we could even, depending on what we want to do in here, we could blast not all of this, but a good portion of this out. Uh, we do have a couple hundred of the extract and the, uh, the dynamite itself, but we're not going to need extract for a single deep. If we blasted all this down to be pretty much level, obviously not right here because this is for water containment. Uh, but, you know, actually, no, we're not going to need to contain anything. It shouldn't flood at all. Famous last words, right? Um, <laughs> but if we make all this level, maybe out to about here, we might not even have to worry about putting in another set of... Uh... You know what? I'm just sickeningly curious. <laughs> I'm just so curious to see if this is going to work. Oh boy. Well, we'll do this. This will be plenty of room to get everything um, we want to do up here. We could even just grow trees up in this area because there's plenty of planting. And this guy can already reach all the way down here. If he can just walk this way, he'll get a couple more tiles in here. And that could become very appealing. We'll see. Got plenty of stuff to do. We don't have to focus on this for every waking second of this episode. we got plenty of time left. So that should be very interesting indeed. I'm just wondering if we're going to be able to get too far into the next uh, wet cycle in this episode because of how long this drought is. I think we should still have time to build most of what I want to get done. We'll see. But obviously, if we if we get this down, blast this down, then this no longer has to be stairs right here, right here, and we can can still build uh, levees here if we have to. If this does end up, end up flooding, then uh, obviously we can fix that when it comes to it. But we can also, you know, just kind of come in here with a, uh, a bunch of explosives and say, hey, guess what? Uh, we can just blow this up and make it deeper so it doesn't flood. Should not be a big issue at all. We just have to get these guys down here, which of course is going to require the use of our favorite stairs substitute. And that really should help us uh, considerably. In fact, these right here, these should be the uh, double dynamites, which I will go ahead and do uh, right here. Also, I don't, although I don't expect them to be able to get to this one right here because of how this is set up. If, however, I get rid of that builder set, guess what? They can come back in here. And that was going to leave anyway because of how our paths were laid out. So they'll take care of this. I don't know that there's any spots here that aren't going to be accessible because of range issues. I think it should all be okay. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, that's going to be fine. We'll just cut all this down and come back and take a look in due time. So, of course, uh, I am going to lower this area as well. Uh, in addition to taking these trees out, and that's something that's going to take a good bit of time. But now that we have some extra storage, we have... Wow, okay, we have about 3,300 extra storage we haven't gone into. These guys should have a field day cutting these trees down, uh, replanting them, etc., so on and so forth. And since it's a drought, we don't have to worry about flooding. And we'll see exactly what we can get ourselves into. But I'm thinking the smart, fun thing to do would be to have, uh, since this is already elevated, we can have the power come in over a path, and then we can put in all the fun stuff like the uh, carousels and uh, some more mud baths and stuff over here. Give these guys something to do. Maybe another dance hall, and then, uh, of course, find a space. This isn't a temple anymore. It's called an Agora in Update 5, but uh, we'll get one of those put in as well. Plenty of interesting options for us to consider. And that should be a okay. And yes, I have heard your cries of misery and despair. The wooden stairs to nowhere are going to go away. As is the uh, entire rest of all this extra land here. Uh, it's just one of those things that takes a long time to uh, to get finished because of how stuff is set up. That's uh, just the way it goes. You got to be able to get to stuff. And sometimes you just can't. And all this space right here also needs to go away. It's not connected to anything except from up here. But that will increase our storage capacity for water, and that is always, always, always going to be a good idea. Let's get our double dynamites. We can actually do the area underneath. 
Yeah, see, this is... Oh, you know what? That's actually holding back a substantial amount of water uh, for our trees here. But they should... Did I mark this for maple syrup? I sure did. Uh, this should already still be able to be kept alive by the amount of water stored under here. Well, we'll get it figured out. If we continue to expand the amount of water that can be stored here, then the pumping uh, problem becomes uh, smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's always going to be a good thing. We also need to get over here, which is one of those things that is uh, kind of irritating to get to if you have it set up wrong like I did. I don't have the, uh, the luxury of the side platforms in this playthrough, but I do have the opportunity to do this. And I know, might be a little wasteful of materials, but in case you haven't noticed, we have a lot of stuff we're not using, so I'm not gonna feel that bad about it. We'll just put these uh, platforms here so they can just drop the uh, explosives right there and be done with it. Uh, this bad water, we have 2,000 stored up, doesn't really need to be here. We were, remember, gonna move the bad water production over to this side, I just haven't, uh, I haven't really done a great job with that. This is just kind of sitting by itself, and we haven't been able to uh, quite do what we wanted. I had thought about uh, putting in some other stuff on this side. Uh, we have our uh, centrifuges and stuff. would be pretty easy to put at least a couple of them over here because the power would be transferred. Uh, we would just have to have good storage. And because I decided to put these suspension bridges in, when I maybe shouldn't have done these as a suspension bridge. Uh, that, of course, has caused additional problems as well. So we might end up taking these out and just putting in the regular platforms and all that fun stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We have some time. We're not firmly wedded into how all of this is or has been set up. But the good news is uh, this has continued to expand and cover more area for being planting, so for being planting. Wow, fantastic English there. Uh, so this is all good. That's looking fine. All right, now we have a very large amount of dynamite that's been planted here. Planted like it's a crop. Even. It's not a, not a crop, it's dynamite. Whatever. Um, but this should, hopefully, all be done now. It looks like it is. Nobody has any reason to get on top of this, which means they probably still will anyway. Uh, but we'll go ahead and set this off. That was glorious. That was a thing of beauty right there, folks. We've got plenty more to get to as well. Just uh, do what we can when we can with what we have. That's our motto. So if we just split this right about here, just get this whole thing done. Uh, of course, our friend here in the Gatherer Flag will be able to access stuff a lot more easily. And we can get rid of these because clearly we're not using any of this, exception of the dandelions, which I guess probably uh, probably do need to stay, but, but, comma, the dandelions can be planted by the forester. This is not the water beaver mod where you cannot plant any of those. So that won't be that big of a deal. And this giant dirt pile, uh, well, we know why it's here. It's here because it's covering up our little irrigation thing. This doesn't really need to be here. We could we could replace this with something else, but it, there's there's not really any reason to get rid of it. It's just one of those things we have to uh, we have to acknowledge was probably not the best thing to put there. But I uh, chose to do it that way anyway. Well, I've made worse decisions, so I will I guess stand by that as uh, <laughs> something else. That's fine. That is a okay. So this, the way this is set up, see, it's it's kind of deceptive because you have trees here. You can't really see too much of what's going on. But uh, the way this is set up, I probably, uh, I probably could have gotten rid of a little bit more space here. But this is all green with the exception of these couple spaces here. That might not even matter because, yeah, it is still partly green, so a tree will grow. Uh, I'm thinking the smart thing to do, smart thing to do might be actually to move this gatherer flag a little bit closer this way and then I uh, see I don't know I, I keep going back and forth but that's part of the fun thing about doing these uh, unscripted unedited is so I can make dumb choices in real time so people can uh, experience the fun of 
my completely fundamentally broken mind. But that's okay, because we have plenty of dynamite here to play with, get rid of, and uh, not worry about any of the rest of that. Now, this should, should prevent flooding when we get rid of this. And I think that's going to be just fine. So we'll get rid of the ladder so no one can accidentally get lost down there. And that should be okay. Now, because we have this crossing here. Um, see, I don't really know. That's really not the best way to have done this. But I kind of... I kind of want to keep it. So maybe maybe we just leave this right here. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's okay. Or I uh, I get rid of this. Make this a. I I don't know. We'll get it. We'll get it figured out. But I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to strike a balance between uh, creating a bunch of space for housing and uh, maintaining some place where I can uh, plant the chestnut trees and harvest the chestnuts and have enough space to do so. Like right here, this really probably all should be chestnuts. I'm just wondering how far away can I put, nope, wrong button. How far away can I put one of these and still have them harvest all these berries? Because if I can come, yeah, see up here is not going to work. But right here, right here actually would, if I moved it from up there and I had this easily accessible, I actually could get to a decent bit of this. Or I could just stop splitting hairs about having one guy do everything because that still isn't a very efficient setup anyway. And I could just say, you know what? We'll just put a gatherer flag right here and they can get all the chestnuts that way. It's probably, uh, in all honesty, the better choice anyhow. So all, all that to end up changing almost nothing. Gotta love, gotta love these videos. But if they can get this one log out, yeah, that might... Might end up being actually best to just have this guy focus on chestnuts if we just did that. Because then I can uh, then I can plant this entire upper area, entire upper area with chestnuts, and we'll just not worry about it. And this entire bottom area uh, can be for everything else. I love changing my mind four times four times in the same episode. It is also kind of fun to uh, to just kind of come up with stuff off the seat of your pants as you're going around. Uh, taking care of everything. But uh, we'll go ahead and get the rest of this knocked down because we have the option to do so. Give me that path right there. Beautiful. All right, and that will give us the option to uh, have this be nice and flat here. And then all we have to do is figure out how to get power where it's supposed to go, and we'll be, uh, we'll be all set. Now, we don't need two dirt excavators. I just have them going... Um, because I uh, I kind of wanted to create matching uh, whatever. This might actually be the bottom of the uh, of the map right here, but I I don't have the height shore mod, so I can't uh, can't show you that for sure. Well, we'll just keep on doing our explosions here. Hopefully, I don't accidentally explode anybody. But that's done, which means now I can come in and I can demolish these buildings, and then we can start. Although I'm not going to detonate this quite yet because I know it's going to cause pandemonium for our uh, for our trees up here. Potentially. I might want to do that once this is actually filling up. This is looking good. Slowly adding more and more stuff here. We should see... Oh, we don't have storage for cattail crackers. That was a fail. That was a, that was a choice I made. Uh, cattail flower here. I really should have... Uh, storage for more cattail crackers, but they're going to want to eat them over here, too. Well, uh, I always want to click past the structures to put terrain blocks down. If we did this right here as more terrain, one that uses up some dirt, and then I can come in on top of this with a... Let me click, please. Thank you. Large storage for our cattail crackers, and we'll just be uh, done with it. Spatterdock numbers are increasing as well, and we also don't have any storage for that. Uh, but the grills that are doing the Spatterdock are down here. And uh, let's see, how is this up? Grilled chestnuts stored there. Sunflower seeds. Uh, easiest thing for us to do is just going to be to double stack these and have some for grilled Spatterdock right here. And then we can put a third 
uh, yes, third grill. And right there, spatter dock, spatter dock. And, uh, maybe I'll do chestnuts in this one. But right, then we can come along and put in right like so. And then at the very end here, we can put a ladder. So we can have access to all this stuff slightly easier. And that should be okay as well. Uh, I have sunflower. I've grilled uh, chestnut storage underneath here. Probably need to do a big one somewhere, but we're uh, not quite there just yet. We'll uh, we'll get there. Yes, I know. I know you have nothing to do. That's just the way the world works. Sometimes you, you're gonna have to sit there. Okay, so that's done, and now we have a lot more space here. Should be plenty for uh, the housing ideas that I had in mind. Uh, Got to get more of this set up to blow. Just a moment here. But now, uh, as these start coming in, I'm going to start planting uh, chestnuts. I guess I could just start planting them all over uh, this area right here, and that should be fine. Get them going, and then uh, I will unmark. Oh, these are already unmarked. Okay. Well, these areas up here, I will unmark them for cutting uh, as the chestnuts get planted. And we'll just... Uh, take care of what we have to take care of as we have to do it. So th hopefully these are going to be irrigated enough for us to actually use. That should be fine, I believe. And of course, we'll keep monitoring the situation over here. Uh, but these are all done, which means now I can disconnect this and put our ladder in right there. And that should be hopefully a uh, little bit of a successful uh, endeavor there. See, I don't see them having any more holes come out in the bottom of this, which means I think, I believe that is quote-unquote done. Obviously, it's still going to continue to produce too much products. Okay, I feel like that needs to say too many or too much product singular. I don't know. I'm not a copy editor. I play video games on the internet. Um, but that's... Uh, if this keeps going, which it isn't because there's uh, no storage space for the dirt, if it keeps going and it doesn't continue to uh, punch holes in the ground, then that means it's at the bottom, and that means I can feel not terrible about removing one of these because we don't need it, or I can at least pause it. In fact, I'm just going to pause both of these right now because we don't need the dirt anyway. And now our labor imbalance is just about solved. So that's hopefully going to be an improvement there. So these chestnut trees are going to take 24 days to grow and then another 8 days to get chestnuts. We are not going to see those this episode. Going to have to wait for the fruits of our labor to show up uh, later on in this playthrough. But uh, we will, of course, do what we can when we can. All right, so we have water storage here. We are down to 3,000 water. I am going to go ahead and hook this back up and uh, get these all operating so we can pump water out uh, without getting any more out of this. 3,000 is still perfectly fine. It's going to sustain our beavers for a long time. But we, what we want to avoid is being down to about 2,000 when the, um, the temperate season starts and having these turn on immediately and this never filling back up because that would be quite a severe problem. And these trees can't dry out in three days, so I am going to start... Detonating this, and then uh, we'll see what happens there. So this entire thing uh, could be blasted down two more, but um, the issue we're going to run into is actually being able to get down into this. But eventually I would like to, so let's, since we have, we have extract, we don't have a lot of dynamite, uh, but we can easily make it. I just don't know why they haven't uh, haven't been producing that much of it. Let's put ladders in, in the corner here, because I want to be able to get down here. I want to be able to get down here and detonate all this down two more levels, because they're going to be able to, uh, actually, you know what? You know what? I don't know how much the water is going to actually stay relative to uh, irrigation needs over here. But if I went down three here, it would be below the level of the uh, water pump straws. 
And we have the, uh, what's that called? Extract? We have the extract to do it, so you know what? Might as well. Let's see if that helps us uh, do anything at all here. Yeah, the issue we might run into is if they're going to be able to reach the middle or not. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, they're probably not going to be able to reach. So what I will do instead... Oh, we didn't build another storage over here. We were going to. I'll grow potatoes, pine resin, gears. Um, What was I... Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, um... We can put Grilled Spatter Dock here. He says, immediately forgetting that he was going to put ladders here. <laughs> oh, man. See, I, uh, I understand if watching my videos frustrates you. I do. And I apologize. But I don't apologize that much. This is, this is very fun. <laughs> it's very fun to do this. Let's get the rest of these in place to uh, get demolished down. And I guess these will be... Actually, no, this down here, I have to be careful not to delete the bridge. Careful not to delete the bridge. I could just come in from the other side then. Uh, this can be doubles, and then the uh, the super deep part can be over here, uh, immediately next to the trees. I think that should be fine. Too far? Okay, okay. Yep, I, I had to have a path here, which I, well, now I do. So that solves that problem. How are we looking here? Still don't have enough water, but we are harvesting. Uh, theoretically, we might need to put a third aquatic farmhouse in here uh, just to get that taken care of. We are harvesting. I really need to build. I need to build housing here before it gets to be too late. But we know how this goes. I get distracted incredibly easily. Let's get this unmarked for cutting. We're going to have to be careful to police this. Uh, that needs to be not maples, chestnut trees. I did plant the right type of trees, right? Okay, good. That was about to be a uh, rather frustrating mistake if I had not done that correctly. That's fine. We'll get stuff figured out. Um, so, housing-wise, uh, we, we definitely don't want to build all of these at once because that's going to cause birth and death waves. Uh, but... If we want this to be something that makes sense with the terrain, uh, I think we're going to want to still uh, put in uh, holes where uh, where the buildings are going to go. So I had the idea of putting in the right here, right here, right here, three triple lodges buried in set one into the ground, one block into the ground. And then what that's going to do is give us a nice uh, courtyard area. In fact, we could even do... Yeah, we could go one more. Right, like so. And then uh, in the corner, we could put in... I don't know, something else. We just give this land back to uh, up here. We just decide we're done with that. But I think right here, this would actually work out uh, pretty well. In fact, you know, I don't even need to have the dynamite here. I could just leave this... Uh, I can just leave this up like it is. Why, why am I trying to blow this up? I don't know. Hopefully I'm not giving you guys too much uh, whiplash for my uh, design decisions here. But if I get this, like so, that's going to give us a little bit of a, uh, a bit here. Yeah, yeah, I love making design decisions in real time. Uh, let's actually put this dirt back. <laughs> I know that's going to frustrate people. Uh, but we can put that dirt back. That'll actually be fine uh, in the corner there. And what we'll do instead is we really got to get some more um, gotta get some more explosives made. I guess these guys are working overtime because we have so, so, so much uh, getting put in here. But that's a okay. Let's get rid of these ladders. And then uh, one more ladder. Yeah grab all of these materials. There's no storage space for planks, I guess. Well, they'll get pushed to somewhere they can actually get picked up. Um, we'll put... Or not. <laughs> or they could just go completely over here. Oh, that's a pain. Uh, well, 
I guess those 24 planks are gone forever because we have a full storage for not using them. I'm just going to delete them. Oh no, I have committed a cardinal sin. That's fine. Let's get rid of these as well. We have uh, all these logs and planks that we probably don't need to keep anyway. Okay, that was painful. But it's done. All right, there we go. Get rid of the path, get rid of the path, path, path. Then this, of course, can be four grilled spatterdock. And then on top of it, ah yes, cycle 30 begins. On top of it, we can put a large pile for, you'll never guess what, planks. What a concept, huh? Anyway, uh, water's coming in. So that's going to uh, make it possible for us to keep going here. I will get rid of those paths so no stupid beavers can go into the bad water when I forget that I had those paths there in three cycles and then I'm left wondering why I have 800 infected beavers. But uh, this will refill. It'll come down here. All these floodgates are closed. So this will flow completely fine like so. Although I will open this so this can flow around here. Have a little bit of uh, water stored up. And I was going to come in and have this set up a little bit more to contain uh, water. I guess I can still do that. Yeah, I can put uh, put a little bit right here just to level that off. And that will keep a little bit more water here until, of course, you get around to this corner. Baby steps. Baby steps. Everything will make sense in due time. Uh, so this can come down, and it can also go around and give us a nice storage here which we probably at some point should deepen, but uh, that's not on the docket for today, at least as far as I'm concerned. Maybe uh, toward the end of our uh, temperate season, we can open these and let those flow as well. But for right now, I think this will be a-okay. Uh, we'll get water coming in here. And then, yes, are we... Oh, are you serious? They don't have the explosives, really? I mean, I am, I I am putting a whole bunch of explosives in here. I guess that's uh, to be expected. But now I can turn these into more doubles that way, and then this will be a lot easier to manage uh, once that's all taken care of. But for the uh, purposes of actually getting this done to store water, we want to have uh, that have a little bit more access to stuff. All right, now that the water is coming back in, once this starts to flow, I will open our floodgate here, and we'll take advantage of that. Uh, they're not going to get done with this for a while, but but we forget how quickly we forget. I'm going to get rid of these. So we can have them... No, no, stop moving under my cursor when I'm clicking on stuff. And then we can uh, just do something else here. I don't know. Now they can take those explosives and put them where they matter. And it looks like those are all done. Um, I'm not going to set this off quite yet because we do have to get these uh, doubles put in place here. But uh, everything is starting to look pretty good. Water is flowing in very, very nicely. And within a little bit of time, it should start coming up over the top here, and then we can let this come in. And that should be working out quite nicely. Now, food storage has substantially improved. The ingredients themselves, eh, not so much. We're, we're working on it. But the good news is we're not, uh, we're not bottlenecked by the storage of the raw ingredients in anything that actually matters because we're full up on wheat, bread, and uh, wheat flour. So us only having storage for 200 wheat is not really a problem. And by storage, I mean uh, there are farms that are all holding wheat. I don't have any storage for actual wheat. But again, not a problem yet. Perfectly fine. Potatoes are fine. Uh, maple syrup never seems to be able to generate fast enough, but this is uh, all still coming online. And there's a little bit that hasn't been gotten yet, so looks like uh, our friend Teddy over here has some work to get to. So we'll let him do that. Everything over here. I wonder why they started doing these first. Oh, okay, it's because I built them first. Duh. Because uh, that's how that works. But now, yeah, see, the water is irrigating very nicely. This will be very green during the wet season, and that means we don't have to put anything else there. But this is now ready. 
Boy, that's fun. Uh, let's just go ahead. Build our five triple lodges right here. And then uh, we'll just connect them as we want. And that will give us, yeah, 45 additional beavers. How about that? And then these two here will give us another 18. So we're, we're poised to make a very large uh, beaver population increase as uh, long as we can have stuff set up the correct way. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to have this whole thing be kind of connected like so. And we're going to have space in the middle. We can come in and uh, put a couple of Lido's in. Uh, just depends on how we want to have this set up. So we could actually make this entire thing in the middle and just a big old Lido by itself. We have one here, one here, and then we could have another one here and one here. That should, I believe, have this set up in a way that is going to allow us to uh, have a little bit of space in the center, maybe to put something else. Or we could just do Lido's on the outside and on the inside we can put in... Okay, this is a little bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, but we can put in a dance hall here, or or we got options. We got options. We turn the Lido's this way and this way, and then the dance hall would actually fit pretty well. You know what? I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Which means, of course, more explosives. You know how much we love those. Having a great time with that, and that's also importantly going to allow us to have um, uh, two of these right here, like so. Have these paths wrapped around. Just like so. And then uh, the way this is set up is not exactly ideal, but uh, I think we'll survive. I think we'll be just fine. So we'll get this popped in here, right like so. And of course, we are going to have to do this on the other side too. All right, like so. We got a two by six. And then this will end up uh, probably looking a little bit like a... Uh, like an old style roadside motel that you would have seen in the the US sometime in the 1950s or 1960s where it's just a bunch of low generic buildings around a center court that has a, a really sketchy swimming pool and an event space in there. But hey, that kind of thing's charming. I like that. So now it looks like this is ready to go. Let's just get rid of our ladder here so no one can get stuck. And if they're already stuck down there, well, that's their fault and we will show no mercy. So triple, triple dynamite goes there. I think that was supposed to be a triple. Let's get that uh, prioritized, get that accomplished there. And then uh, it's day four. We'll let the water come back in. This is now uh, starting to flow into here as soon as this water level matches. Oh, it's drying out. It died. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh, how did that happen? This hasn't been shut off. Oh, my man. I know there's a certain speed and there's a certain amount of stuff you can get done, and that's okay. However, comma, how did how did this happen? How did this happen? I guess the evaporation caught up with it. I don't know. I should have put two of these in, but I didn't. And uh, that is just the way the cookie crumbles. So we'll uh, we'll get that figured out in due time. But most importantly, this is now ready for explosion, and we'll get it done. Is there anything more satisfying than watching that? Is there? Oh, look at that. We're going to have some major splashback. Oh, it's like when you're it's like when you're in the tub with uh when you're a kid and you figure out that if you scooch forward and backward, you can make the uh, the water do funny waves and stuff and then you get yelled at cuz you're causing water damage to the house when the water splashes out. But it's still a fun exercise in physics for the young mind and that's a uh, a fun thing for our beavers too, I suppose. Now all this water can uh, get stored in here. That is a that's a big improvement in water storage, and this will uh, crucially keep a little bit of it in place, so we don't have to worry about the uh, the trees quite as much. Ah, yes, bad tide time. All right, this is gonna this is gonna test our skills, test our patience a little bit. Uh, but it is now time to lower the floodgate and let this get a little bit of water in here, and hopefully uh, hopefully give this this poor fluid dump a boost. Uh, to where it can handle everything that it needs to handle. So this is looking good. Um, I could I could spend a little bit more time getting the rest of this uh, blown up. I probably should, honestly. So we have all this other stuff going on here. Uh, but that's going to be fine. We can go ahead and build our dance hall right here. And then on the front of this, 
Yeah, because we're going to have Lido, 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 here, 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 and here. And then we'll have some space in the middle here. Uh, these are not powered attractions, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but we got to figure out, we got a 5 by 2 space in between these that we could put something in. Uh, probably the easiest thing to do is going to be to do some decorations and contemplation spots. Possibly, possibly a monument or two. Um, oh, I'm not going to be able to hit all these at once. We'd have to do two, two farmer's monuments or, or I could put these in the corner. Yeah, I could do that. And then I could do the, uh, uh I could do the brazier of bonding. Oh, you know what I could have done and probably should have done here instead of building the dance hall. I could have done the fountain. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to, you guys are going to be so mad at me. Um. We could do a fountain of joy right here, and it would make sense in the context of the swimming pool. Honestly, why didn't I? Uh, why did I do this before? Oh boy! All right. Well, that's uh, that's gonna be a fun thing for us to figure out. But this is full, so let's um, let's shut it, so that can that can retain all the water it needs to retain. Oh boy, you guys, you guys are going to be so mad at me <laughs> by the time we're done with this. All right, let's, um, let's connect these two just so we can start, start getting some more beavers. And by these two, I mean this one, we, so we can very slowly start, uh, start producing some more beavers here. Um, well, this also means, yeah, we got to get, uh, got to come get all this stuff and I got him <laughs> explode this too. Okay. All right. So that's going to be that way. This is going to be a Lido here, Lido here. Um, which way is this coming in with the stairs? I guess it doesn't really matter, but I do have to put in a water dump to keep this filled. Uh, it cannot be in the five by five. That's going to be the fountain of joy. That's uh, unfortunately not an option. Actually, what's the radius on this thing? Okay, so this is actually a good place to put this. It's just not going to cover these guys as well. But we can put another one up here. Not going to be a problem. All right, we've got 1.5 days left. Oh, we have a lot of water stored here, actually. That's, um... Okay, that's good. That's good. And we probably should, uh, in sometime in the future, do a large uh, thing here because then that's going to allow us to put water down in this one. So I actually don't have to open these at all. This is uh, set up quite well for us to have a nice amount of water stored back. Uh, the only problem... The only problem with keeping water here is we're not going to be able to use it for pumping because it's a bad tide. So actually, all right, let's let's pause here. Pause here so I don't have to don't have to regret this later. Because this is all going to be bad water coming out and going this way. If the good water has to come out the same way, that's not really going to be a... Uh, not really going to be a viable solution, is it? Uh, well, we'd have to come in and we'd have to build additional pumps here. If if it got to that point, I I really I don't know that it will. Don't know that it will. Don't know that it needs to. But eh, I should have thought about this a little bit better. Well, it's not that hard to build pumps. Uh, these are not going to be usable. Absolutely not going to be usable. So let's um. Yeah, let's unhook those just so nobody's tempted to do a stupid thing. And then I guess we can figure out what we're uh, what we're gonna do with that. But I'm gonna go ahead since this is already overflowing. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut that, um, so we're not gonna be tempted to leave it open. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to figure something out if we can't get the rest of this water pumped. Now, right now, these nine are pumping though, and that's looking good. Uh, we're not gonna have any bad water come through here anyway, and we have a lot more storage capacity than we did before. So I think we've made good choices. I just uh, probably should have put these in first a little bit earlier on, but we haven't uh, haven't quite made the most uh, intelligent choices in getting some of this stuff set up, have we? Uh, all right, well, what we can do, what we can do, is we can at least make uh, some progress on uh, the rest of this while we are waiting to figure out uh, what we're doing 
with everything else. These triples can go in here in the corner. And that's okay. And guess, guess what we're going to do? Guess what we're going to do, kids? We're going to put this right back. Oh, no. We're going to put it right back there, and we're going to be uh, we're gonna be fine with it. So farmer monuments can go can go right here like a like a stupid idiot that I am. Oh boy, that's um that's fine. So now I've got to decide what's gonna go in the center here. Other recreational buildings, like I said, we don't really have a three by two building. Uh, the dance hall probably would have been a great thing to put there, but the fountain of joy is gonna look a lot better and gonna complete kind of our gaudy looking Mattel. Mattel is a company that makes Barbie and Hot Wheels. It's not that it's a motel, not a Mattel. Anyway, I digress. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to do here. I, I get myself uh, in trouble here when I uh, I move past things that uh, that I've uh, attempted to corral myself with. All right, let's open this one up for uh, Beaver Housing as well. And now we got to figure out where in the world am I going to put the water dump. I could put it right here in the middle would be the most aesthetically pleasing thing and also split up allowing stuff there. So let's do that. Let's do that. We'll put this here. That'll be fine. Blow that up also as well. All right. So bad tide time. All right. Time to pause just because I'm paranoid. Um, we have all of these shut. Okay. So we'll preserve the good water. That's stuck here at least 29 days. Maximum length, maximum strength. There you go. It's like an allergy medication. Uh, but that's uh, hopefully not going to be an insurmountable challenge because we are not full on water storage. We have, <laughs> we have about 2,000, 2,100 left uh, capacity. And that's going to cause some interesting problems for us. Now, if I... Oh, I'm just trying to think. Is is there a way? Is there a way for this to make sense? I don't know. I wish we could do aqueducts. I, I really wish we do. I re wish we could do aqueducts. But I understand the game's physics engine does not allow it. Or lack thereof of a physics engine. Anyway, the, uh, the point being, uh, we're not going to be able to get this water unless we build pumps, which I... Probably I'm going to end up having to do in the next episode when we inevitably have a water crisis because I made bad choices. But I digress. Start of a bad tide. I said that's where we would end the episode, but we've got just a little bit more I want to get done before we actually, actually finish this because it's, uh... oh, it hasn't even been an hour yet. Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll turn on the, uh, the triple speed back again and we'll try to get this figured out. That's already shut. That's looking good. No, uh, no poison water in here. The shunt is working as uh, intended. This is already shut. That's good. And importantly, importantly, it's not flooding. I was a little concerned about that, but I think now it's fine. Uh, this is going to become tainted just a touch, just a touch. But I don't think, I don't think we're going to see too much uh, harm for our trees here. Obviously, as the potency of the bad water increases, uh, we might see it encroach a little bit. But it is also enough of a uh, it's enough of a drop where I don't think it's going to matter that much. So this is. Please don't step on that. Thank you. That's going to be where our fluid dump goes. Connect right to the path. That's actually a good spot for it. So that should be fine. Um, but we want to get this built and operating as quickly as possible so we can get the rest of this put in place. Because we want our Lido's to be usable, don't we? Don't we? Now I just got to be careful how I, uh, I hook the rest of these up. I guess the easiest way is probably just to delete that path so we can have the one more come in uh, at the same time and then we can use both of these Lido's. Uh, these are in place. That's looking good. And then all I got to do is unlock the Fountain of Joy. We have to orient our beavers facing the correct way, which would be this way. Unlock it, and they can build it. And, importantly, well, we don't have enough metal blocks, and that's because I didn't have enough metal block storage, but uh, we do have two-thirds of those, and it's not going to be unreasonable for us to make more metal because uh, we do have these smelters here. 
Uh, they're just full and have not been used. So uh, now that this is 100% bad water, we do have a little bit of bad water infiltration. We can put um, contamination barriers in place if we really felt bothered by it, but we're not growing anything here right now, so I don't think that's a problem. Uh, we've got some more trees we can plant. Uh, chestnuts. Chestnuts to plant, mind you. I promise I know what I'm doing. Uh, just manually deselect these. Yeah, so we'll give them a little bit of time. A little bit of time to uh, get some of those other things built. Because I would like to have a lovely screenshot of the uh, of the little hotel, motel, holiday inn kind of thing. Oh, in here. Uh, that's an oak tree seedling, so we can have that set to cut. That's looking good. Chestnut trees. All right. And now there's water in here. There's not a lot, but there is water in here. So that's uh, progress, I suppose. Oh, and they can't reach this? Why, you stupid idiots. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to blow up another hole just to put a ladder in. Oh, that's such a pain. We'll, we'll take it out later, but I guess I guess the beavers can't reach into the hole to build the thing, which, well, whatever, makes sense, but still is a, a little irritating. Oh, I should have detonated this beforehand. Should have done it before, but I didn't. And now we have the fun problem of already sucked down one block worth of uh, water here. So uh, let's pause this because this is a very advantageous water storage for preventing evaporation. Uh, we'll just have to uh, keep our eye on that. This is not as advantageous for avoiding evaporation. So we probably want to build some pumps here, uh, which will be something we could do uh, next time. I just want them to be able to actually, you know, uh, do anything with this. <laughs> just build a, uh, uh, build some stairs so they can get in to do all, all this stuff, and then we'll have the uh, water dump keep dumping water in. Wow. wow, but this farmer monument's done, and this one's actually just waiting on them to finish it too. So uh, we'll get that benefit in our well-being, which will be nice. It's already up to 30. I don't think it's really going to raise that much, uh, I say as it goes down to 29, but uh, that is going to be a nice thing. And then uh, we could take a brazier of bonding. We could actually put uh, put one of these here and cover both of those. But you know me, I uh, I like symmetry probably a little bit more than I should. And I'm going to want to put two here. So uh, I don't know. We'll see. But if I put it here, it's also going to block our super monument. So maybe, maybe what we do instead is we uh, maybe put uh, one of these in here. Oh, that's not going to be centered. That's going to, oh, that's going to irritate me until the day I die. Um, but that's, uh, that's fine. I suppose we got 32 children beavers, so I'm not going to hook the rest of these up anytime soon. Uh, but we have to remember next time to gradually, gradually <laughs> introduce these to the population pool. I think we're going to be just fine. Otherwise we are not going to connect these yet, or we're going to have a huge population explosion problem on our hands, but progress is being made here and that's looking good. Uh, they have to continue making metal blocks, which I believe the smelters are uh, back at work in full force. It'll take them a couple days to get that done. But, but this is finally, finally making some nice progress. Plant some more chestnut trees in the additional spaces. Going to have to, again, keep our eye on uh, how all this is set up. But I believe, I believe we're going to be just fine. So. Now I think we have finally arrived at a good place to end today's episode. I know we did not do any bad water processing stuff. I'm sure a couple of you are going to be a little upset about that. But, but, this is now fully working. And it got filled up. And hopefully the fluid dump is going to be enough to keep up. If if the water gets low enough, and I guess I'll just have to bite the bullet and put another fluid dump in. Uh, but the uh, floodgate did work. It did manage to get enough accomplished. Our food situation is looking extremely good. We're very slowly improving everything else, but I'm not worried about not having a ton of storage for ingredients because the end product is what matters. And they're they're dancing away. Doing their... Uh, okay, well now they're all gone, but whatever. Beaver square dancing, that stuff, whatever they end up doing there. That's looking fine. Uh, Fountain of Joy will be done next time. But I am pretty satisfied with where we are. Still, of course, have plenty to get to in this playthrough, and uh, it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. We're going to have at least 10 more episodes of this, depending on uh, what else we decide we want to do. I know there's plenty to get to. 
like I always say. But yep, that's it. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching these episodes and uh, leaving helpful feedback in the comments below. I do always read all of them. Cannot always respond. Uh, actually, in many cases, I can't respond. But I do always make sure I read your feedback. And I have a note here on my second monitor of uh, some of the stuff you guys have said. So I can hopefully help keep myself uh, on track, organized during these things. And I also want to recognize the Beard Boosters and their support. It makes it possible for me to keep doing this stuff and keep the videos free of garbage uh, sponsorship integrations for stuff nobody wants or should have in the first place. Uh, so again, huge thanks to you folks. It's awesome that I get to do this uh, and that I get to do it and help support myself along the way. And you guys make it possible and I cannot thank you enough. That being said, that's all we got for today. We have uh, something new and interesting to the channel coming tomorrow. I'll let you find out what it is when that video goes up. But um, it's a game you guys suggested in the community post I made uh, earlier today. So uh, look forward to that. And we will see you back in this playthrough on Friday and then with the Iron Teeth Mega Build on Thursday. Saturday's up in the air as well because our Water Beaver season uh, has ended. So not quite sure what we're going to do there, but we'll get it figured out. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one, whatever it might be uh, that I see you in. So stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.